that when people learn more about nature, people want to protect nature more. So yeah. do you feel that? Have you found that? I found that in myself, you know, both at Scripps and protecting the ocean and, and here uh, protecting the environment, the trees and the wildlife. We have a lot of black bears here in Maine. By nature, they're a vegetarian and they're very docile. They will not attack you unless you're going after a cub and mama bear's there, then she'll attack you. So you, you, know, you gotta be careful. But we like to have them around. Sometimes when you're playing on the golf course, there's bear cubs in the trees while you're hitting your golf ball. And it's just, it's kind of magical. We love them. One of the issues is, is they, even though they're naturally vegetarian, they, they eat our garbage. All the dumpsters have clamps on them so that they can't get in the dumpster. But a lot of times people forget that. And also people leave their food in their car. And a bear, we've had this happen nine times this summer in the parking lot. Somebody leaves a leftover hamburger in the back seat and a bear will come, punch the window out, rip the door off and eat the hamburger and walk away. We need to educate people about this. Just don't leave food in your car. There's bear boxes in the campgrounds. And so yeah. you're supposed to put all your food in there and put the latch. Yeah. The bears can't get it. Well, some people don't do that. And so the bears wander into the campsite and start eating their food. And then they go away. But then later on, they're like, hmm, I got some good food over there yesterday. I'm going to go back. And then while the people are sitting there, the bears come. Okay, and there's kind of a bear encounter and they get scared. Okay, and they can call the Department of Fish and Wildlife. They can trap the bear. Um, they can, they actually tag it, they anesthetize it, they tag it, and then they take it somewhere else and move it. But typically those bears just wander back to where they were before. They're, right. they're that smart about their environment. In fact, last year there was a bear called Victor. Everybody knew Victor. He wandered around the campgrounds. Unfortunately, one of the campers actually fed him. And then the bear got kind of aggressive with this camper. And the camper got very scared. We had to call the Fish and Wildlife and it was the second or third time that someone had called about Victor. And their response in that case is to shoot the bear. Mm -hmm. So they actually killed Victor. Mm -hmm. And everybody here was sad because, yeah. you know, they loved Victor. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we had this guy called the Bear Whisperer. His name is Steve Searles. And he used to work for the town. Uh, and he, he lived out in the wild with the bears and commingled with them, slept out with them. Uh, and, you know, even kind of scolded them when they went into the trash can and said, you know, you're not supposed to do that. And they would listen to him. And it's amazing. Unfortunately, the city cut his position. He doesn't do that anymore. So yeah, we love all our wildlife and we do everything we can to protect them and educate people not to fear them, but to be wise about them. Right, right. right. Don't, don't feed them. Right, okay? yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can look at them, but just look at them. Yeah, it's for their own safety. <laughs> yeah. I think people think they're being kind because they want to give them their, but it's right. for their own safety. It's the worst thing you can do. Right. So what is one small thing that people can do when they visit Mammoth to oh. make sure this stays intact, as beautiful as it is? Yeah, just pick up your trash, please. Right. You right. Know, it's, it's all over the place. We have recycling bins. We have a, you know, a whole garbage dump recycling station in town where you can take all your stuff, which I do all the time. The bears all mate on summer solstice? They, they do, yeah. Around the solstice, you know, June 21, that's mating season. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and it's really right around that day, you know, plus or minus a week or something. Some of the, the females, their eggs have been fertilized and then the winter starts coming. And it's actually an interesting natural phenomenon inside the bear. Their bodies actually kind of assess whether they can have babies or not, depending on how much fat they have in their bodies mm -hmm. and when they go into hibernation can they keep these bears alive okay so if they're skinny and scrawny actually the fertilized eggs are ejected okay but if they're healthy and fat they stay in there okay, okay. and they go into hibernation all right and about two months into it they actually give birth and they give birth to these little teeny cubs okay and then they put them they they suckle they nurture them all winter long inside the den. And when they come out of the den, they're this big, oh. okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then the mama bear actually keeps them with her for a year. And then after that, they're mature enough to go off on their own. Okay. Okay. So that's kind of the, the birth cycle of the bear. Mm -hmm. and, and it's really interesting that their bodies actually know, you know, am I strong enough, am I fat enough 
to keep these things alive all 